Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can deploy our Angular application to the Firebase hosting. So we will start by creating a new Angular project. So we will do ng new and then the name of the project. So ng Firebase maybe. And let's press enter. Now it will install the dependencies. So I will be back in a second. All right, now the project has been created. So we can change the directory to our newly created project. And then we can open the project inside VS Code. And first let's take a look at what is the output for this project. So let's open the terminal here and then we can type ng serve dash o. So this will build the project for the first time and then it will open it inside our browser. So this is the output for our project. Now let's see how we can deploy it to the Firebase hosting. Now before we deploy our project, first we need to create the production build. So we can close this tab and let's clear the terminal and then we can type ng build dash dash prod. So this will build our project for the production and by the time it is finished, we will have the dist folder inside of our file structure. So here we can see the dist folder and inside of the dist folder we have that ng firebase folder so this is a folder that we need to push to the firebase hosting now to deploy that folder first we need to go to console.firebase.google.com and here we can click on add project and then we can give it a name so let's say ng firebase so this will create a project id for us and let's accept the terms and conditions for that and then we can create new project now the project is ready so we can click continue so this will open that dashboard for firebase project and in here we can click on the hosting tab and then we can click on get started so the steps are first we need to install the firebase tools globally so we can copy this command and let's run it so this will install the firebase tools for us and now we can click continue and then to deploy first we need to do firebase login then firebase init and then firebase deploy now inside of our vs code we can start by doing firebase login so here you are seeing i am already getting already logged in as my email id so if you are not already logged in, so it should open a new tab inside of your browser and then you have to log in. And now the next step is we will do Firebase init and then it will ask us a series of questions. So yes, we want to proceed and then we will select the hosting here. And then we have to select the project that we have just created. Or if you haven't created a project, you can also create a new project from here. So let's select it for now. And then what do you want to use as your public directory? So I want to use ng firebase inside of the dist directory. So I can do this slash ng firebase. So configure as a single page app. So I will press yes here. So here we will say file already exists overwrite. So I will say no here. And then the last step is we have to do firebase deploy. So we can do firebase deploy so now it will deploy our application to the firebase hosting also when we did firebase in it we have created these couple of files so first is a firebase rc so this will contain our project name or actually the project id and then inside of our firebase json we can see the configuration related to the firebase hosting so here we have that public directory we can change it later if you want and then we want to ignore these files and then some of the rewrite tools. So now if we see in the terminal, we are getting that deploy complete. And then we have that project console URL and then the hosting URL. So if we click on that hosting URL, you can see our project is deployed to the Firebase hosting and then we can view it.